Okay, but uh, on behalf of more than 626,000 members of the Telephone Pioneers of America in the United States and Canada, I want to express to you our great appreciation for your interest in and your support of the Telephone Pioneers of America, uh, and especially your willingness to take the time to acknowledge our 75th anniversary. Uh, to commemorate the occasion, we wanted you to have this telephone instrument, which dates back to 1911, as a matter of fact. And that, of course, is the year in which Telephone Pioneers uh, of America was founded, November 2nd, 1911, to be specific. And in all the years that have gone by since, uh, I think we've established a pretty good record of community service. And we particularly wanted to recognize you and your interest in us uh, with this telephone. Well, listen, I want to tell you a thank you, and I have to say, uh, I'm a little older than this is by several months, uh, but uh, the same year, and I think that phones very much like this, and perhaps exactly like this, uh, were still in operation for some years of my life back there in a small rural town in Illinois. I remember phones uh, like this, and, uh, where, as a matter of fact, out there on the rural lines, if you rang your neighbor's call, uh, you could count on a few of the other neighbors to <laughs> pick up the phone just to see what was going on. <laughs> well, this telephone will actually work if you put a battery on it, and it'll, you, you can use it as, a, as an intercom. Of course, it doesn't have a dial. It doesn't have a touchstone pad, uh, but it's the real thing. And that's how you got your neighbor. <laughs> that's how you made it, uh, made it work. I also want to tell you that uh, we're very much aware of your, it's heavy. Yeah, you got, I got it. You must have been doing a lot of chopping the wood at the ranch. Dennis will tell you about that. <laughs> <laughs> but we're very much aware of your uh, message in terms of volunteerism and the call for the private sector initiative. And I really don't know of any organization that's been more in accord with that message or more fully responsible than Telephone Pioneers of America. And I know in the tape message that you have for us, you and Mrs. Reagan gave us a challenge to help in the fight against drugs. And we will show that tape, and I believe the Telephone Pioneers of America will respond fully and completely in a way that will make us all very, very proud. Mr. I don't President. know how you can take on even one additional thing, but I know you will, and I'm very grateful. Would you like to? Well, they wanted you to turn it around, if you could, for one more good picture, so they could get the two of you in the front of the telephone. Would you like to have it on the on the wall? Or the... <laughs> <laughs> Might also be appropriate to read the inscription that says, "Presented to President Ronald Reagan, with great admiration and gratitude by the Telephone Pioneers of America, on the occasion of their 75th anniversary, 1911 through 1986." Well, Mr. President. It's yours. Well, thank you very much. I think that will go in a presidential library that's being planned for Stanford. It can be made to work. Yeah. It can be made to work. That's, he told me, yeah. just needs a battery. The telephone business has come a long way in 75 yes. years. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Well, well, I believe me, I'm much so grateful. Much. And I know, but if I have to figure right that all of the volunteer effort of your people would amount to about 300,000 
uh, man hours of work a year? 300,000, 40 weeks. Yes, that's right. right. Yes. So, yeah. 40 hours. And a lot of different areas. So, work on uh, drug abuse is one of the projects. Uh, work with the hearing impaired yes. is another one. Uh, help with the blind. It's just quite a really exciting story when you uh, yes. examine what all these good people do. It's just appreciate you. Well, thank you so much. Well, well, thank, thank you. Thank you for that. I'm very pleased to have that. Thank you for all that you mean to all of us. Yeah. yeah. Appreciate well, it. Yeah. And thank you for letting us be here. So appreciate it. Yes, sir. And I hope you will forgive us for letting you kind of get hurt. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, you know, we're still trying to puzzle out how really that happened, but uh, it, was a, it was a weird accident the way it happened, as he's probably explained to you. Well, he did. We were trying to keep up with you. Thank you so much. All right. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. President. How do you do? But that over there. Thank you for it, making them available to us. Good to see you. And thank you for what you have done with regard to the inaugural and so forth, but serving on the commission. Thank you, Mr. President. You know, you uh, made, made this country safe for my children, my children's children. That's very kind of you. We all feel that way. Honor. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Mr. President, thank you for your time. Well, thank you. Are you off to Camp David, sir? What? Are you going to Camp David? Yep. Have yeah. fun, sir. Give our best. Hope you enjoyed being home for a little while. Oh, that was great. That was great. Yeah. Great, sir. This is working our best, too. I sure will. Good to see you. Thank you. God bless you, Mr. President. Thank you. Bye, sir. Thanks, Tom. Mr. President. Present Ambassador Curtis. How do you do, Mr. Mr. President? Very nice to see you, sir. Nice to see you. We're a little late. A little late for this picture, aren't we? This is my Hello, wife, Betty. Hello. It's very nice to meet you. My this is my granddaughter, Beth Love. She has something for you. Thank you very much. Our class put that together with a little picture in here. Well. We wanted to be sure that you knew how much they supported you. Well, we're thank you. you well. You tell all of them thanks. And this is my grandson, John Love. John? Hello there. Oh, he has something for you, too. Hey. Whoops. <laughs> I got too much things to <laughs> Well, thank you very much. <laughs> this is my daughter, Sarah. Hello there. The youngest. Yes, <laughs> please, please, please. Yes. Her husband, Dan. Hi. Hello there. Hi. Hello there. Hi. 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 <laughs> Back here, I have my daughter, Mary, with her son. Hello there. And her husband, Hi, how are you? Derek. 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 While you are all here, I have a, a few items here. Well, we may. I don't have enough hands. Well, now, we have to do this a little out of order here, but. It's for mine. I need to stick with hands. And for your husband's souvenirs. Key rings. Thank you very much. And for you, uh, uh, you know something? I did something wrong. Did you do this? I 
I did something wrong here. Or did I? No, that, that's correct. That's she correct. Gets stick and, mm -hmm. and you, yes, you get the bookmark. Thank you very much. You get the cufflinks. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you very much. Then. Each of these boxes is a jar with the seal engraved on it, and uh, it contains jelly beans. Ah! Uh -huh. And now, should we get one, John? I think John should take it for this one. Yeah. Take that one, and because I know your folks aren't going to want you to open that up on the way home, each one of those contains a sample of what's in the jar. Oh, so that's great. <laughs> And then, for the one and one alone, <laughs> am I right? That's right. right. <laughs> I know he won't, but later on, <laughs> 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 Later on. <laughs> 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 too, too soon. Well, Mr. President, we appreciate those very much. I appreciate very much the chance to be able to serve you in the main end. Well, it's interesting. It's a communist country that doesn't do everything that the Soviets tell it no, to do, which right. is we're yes. trying to keep it that way. Yes. And uh, well, thank you for doing it. Thank you, sir. Most sure. Thank, thank you, you very much. much. Oh, no. <laughs> Great honor to meet you, sir. Very, very kind of to receive it. So I'm delighted to meet you after talking to you. Well, should we give him a picture? All right. Well, thank you very much. Right. Right. Introduce my wife, Helga, Mr. President. Nice to see you. Very nice meeting you, my friend. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Now that we have one, I think uh, we should have a group picture. All right. Page. Where so, would you like well, to Well, why don't you ladies get in the middle? That's all right. That's, all right. Uh, that makes a prettier picture. <laughs> all right. Fine. Right. A little bit. Thank you. It makes it a very special birthday for Mr. Thank President you know, to be yes. here. No. Just so you won't forget us if you souvenirs for while you're gone, cufflinks. Oh, Mr. Oh, President, no. thank you. And the bookmark. Thank you. And a stick pin. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. How very kind. You'll never you. forget it. No. <laughs> thank you very much. Well, well, Mr. President, it's been a great honor representing you and wishes, and a uh, great admirer of yours and everything you're doing. Well, thank so, you, and I'm grateful to you for taking on this task. Well, it's a privilege to meet you personally after this. Thank you very much indeed. Thank you again, Mr. President. Thank you. Happy <laughs> Happy Thank you. 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 Well, I wish you well, and I thank you very much well, for all that you've done. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you for working. Thank you for your instincts. Thank you just right. Just one second here. Just a little souvenir so you won't have to notice. And the bookmark. Thank you. Thank you. Then I'll take care of things. We'll be all right, though. <laughs> yes. <laughs> all right. Thank, Thank you, sir. 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 I think maybe if the ladies would get between us, we could have a family picture here. Right, thank you. Thank you. Now wait just one second. A few souvenirs here. Cufflinks. Thank you. A bookmark. Oh, thank you. And a charm with the state seal. All right. Thank you. Mr. President, you're very gracious to receive this.
Well, that's great to do. It's going to mean a lot to my mission out there to know that you're backing all my efforts and you know, I have your confidence. Thank you for doing that. Thank you. President, this is Andre Seltzer. Hi, how are you? Thank you, sir. Nice to see you. Good to see you. Let's get a picture. All right. And this is James Williams. Andre Hello there. Two names and one last name. Oh, 
these are t two equal. And the third. And that's the last one. Thank <laughs> you. 